Hello guys, welcome to Deep Course and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2645 that says minimum addition to make valid string. So this question is a part of uh, the last uh, weekly contest that was held last week. Uh, so now let's discuss what this question says. So here you would be given one string word and you need to insert letters A, B, C. See there are only three letters that you have to think uh, that are A, B and C. So these three characters you need to insert anywhere any number of times to make the word valid. And you need to uh, return the minimum number of such letters that you have uh, you have to insert to make this word valid. Okay. Now uh, a string is called valid if it is formed by concatenation of a string A, B, C several times. So let me uh, explain you this. So here in this input you are given B. So if this B is invalid. To make it valid you have to create uh, you have to insert one A before this B and one C after this B to create uh, A, B, C string A, B, C. Right. So yeah, so uh, we inserted two characters here. So that's why we written two. Now, if you take a look at this example, A, 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 just focus on this first A. Now to make this first A valid, what you require, you require B here, character B here. Okay, is there B here? No. Okay, after B, is this a C? No. So two characters you have to add to make this A, uh, the, to make this starting A character valid. So this uh, we have made valid. Now there is one another rim this a now we are talking about now after this a do we have b no then we have to insert b do we have c no insert c so again we inserted two characters now think about this third a now also for this third a you have nothing at the end you so we have to add b and c so total six characters we added to make this given word valid okay take a look at this third example so focus on the same a now do you have b on the right of the a yes we have b so continue do you have C on the right? Yes, we have C. Continue. Is there anything remaining? Nothing is remaining. So do we have inserted anything? No. The given word is itself a valid word. So we return 0 as we don't have to insert any given characters, uh, any characters to the given word. Okay. Clear till here. So I hope you guys have understood the question very well till now that we just have to make uh, the given word a valid string and a valid string is nothing but uh, it is a concatenation of a string ABC several times. Okay. So let us first discuss some more examples to get clear understanding. So if you have something like this, B, B, B. Now, so for that, first focus on this B. So do you have A before this B? No, you don't have A. So you have to add one character. Now, do you have C after this B? No, then you have to add one character C. Okay, got it. Now focus on this B. Uh, for this B, do you have A before that? No, then add A. Do you have C after that? Add C. Similarly for this B, uh, last one we have to add A and C. So total 6 characters we added. Now e here if you have something like this B, C, B. Now in that case for this B, you only have to add A because after B, C is already there. So move your pointer to C. C is there. Yes. Yes. Now for this C, you have A and B before that. So it is valid. Now for this B, you have to add only one character A and C. So here if you have searched this string, so here we are added only three characters these three okay got it now if you have let's say c and c so for this c you check do you have b before that no do you have a before that no then for this c we have to add two characters a b and this c to make this a valid right and same for this c we have to add a and b to make this c valid correct so four characters we added so the only thing to note here is let's say if you have a then check for next two characters okay are there b or uh, and c or not okay if you are if you have b then check one character before and one character after so the one character before must be a and one character after must be c if these are present then it is valid and if you have c then you have to check two characters are there that are a and b present before this or not before c or not to make to make these are valid if they are not present then we have to add two characters right got it clear till here okay so the approach to solve this question is very much similar to what we have to do we will apply the brute force approach only directly to solve this question we don't do we won't uh, there is nothing uh, extra like some data structures that will work we will do the brute force approach whenever we encounter a then we will check for b and c whenever we encounter b we will check for a and c and and things like that that we have already discussed till now so let's directly move on to the coding part where we will make a dry run and understand this question in depth. 
So guys, here I took n as the size of the word i, the point, uh, pointer, and letters required. This is the number of letters required to make the given word valid. So we will return this letters required at the end. Now for each character, I will check that is that character is making a valid sequence or not. See what is a valid sequence? A, B, and C. This is a valid sequence, and it is of length, length three. Okay, got this. So for an example, if you have something like this, A, B. C and C. Let's say this is the given word. Now let us try to make a dry run. So initially I is here. So this is the place I is here, right? Um, so let me take I and let me take valid sequence len and let me take here letters required. These are three variables that we were talk. We will talk about the the pointer i, the number of letters required, and the value sequence length. I will also explain you what is the value sequence length. So this valid sequence length length is nothing but a length of the current valid sequence. Okay. So initially i is zero. So it is pointing to this m. Now is the word of i equal equal to a? Oh uh, yeah, it is word of i equal equal to a. Then what we are doing? We are incrementing the valid sequence as well as the pointer i. So valid sequence is now become one, and uh, pointer i is become one, zero to one. Okay. Now i is less than n. Yeah. Uh, now our pointer i is here. It is less than n. And is the word b? So after a, we are checking is the given word b or not. Yes, it is b. So the valid sequence length is incremented to two, and our i pointer will also increment. Now we will point to the third, third letter. Is that equal to c? We will check. Yes, it is equal to c. Then we will increment our length of our valid sequence. Okay. Uh, and that uh, would be three, and increment the pointer i to four. Now guys. So how many letters are required? So the so 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 the oh, for the A B C to form, you require uh, what uh, what would be three? The length of A B C is three, and what is the length of value sequence? It is also three. So here the letters require would be zero, because we already have A B C here. So thus we don't require any additional letters for this thing. That is valid sequence, right? So we do three minus valid sequence length. If um, if we have only A B. Then the valid sequence length would be two, and we would require one character C. So that's why that how we will add number of letters required to our answer. Okay, let's uh, move on. So now our I is what I is uh, pointing to this C, uh, and uh, it is uh, its value is three index three. Now is the word of word I is a no? It is not him. Is the word I uh, is B? No, it is not B. Uh, so uh, let us also this valid sequence becomes zero. Now the word is not A, not B, but it is C. So the valid sequence length increases to one from zero. See, whenever we start a loop, we make valid sequence length to zero and check for next three characters, are they A, B, C or not. Now this condition it would be satisfied here for this C, right? The valid sequence uh, sequence is uh, now become of length one because the character is C and we incremented our I to four. I became four. Okay, got it. Now. What? How many letters are required here? There are three minus one, so two letters required. Because as we can see, that A B C is valid, but for this C we have to add A and B with these two characters. So that's how we are maintaining the length of valid sequence, and then we subtract the length required length that is three minus the current valid sequence. So current valid sequence we have only one character C. So yeah, we have to add two more characters or insert two more characters. So that's why we do three so subtracting the current valid sequence that is one length of current valid sequence. So yeah, we get two. Now i is not less than n, so yeah, we return two as our answer. So guys, got this uh, clear with the code that we will maintain the length of value sequence, and for each character, we will check for the next three characters. So if it is a, then we will have to check for b and c, correct? If the uh, character, if the character at i pointed is b, then a is uh, then we then this is already checked, right? The previous is checked, and if it's uh, so based on the previous, we are incrementing the length of value sequence, right? And this, and at the end, we will subtract three minus value sequence. So this will give us the number of letters required. So guys, got this clear till here? So yeah, that's all for the coding part. And talking about the time and space complexity, the time complexity for the solution is big O of n, as we are running a loop for n characters of the word. And space complexity is nothing but big O of n, as we are not storing anything. These are simply uh, variables, right? So yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys have any doubts, then do let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.